greater downtown Kilmarnock, Virginia is where we are. Uh, we have about 10,000 people in our whole county and I think we're up to five traffic lights now in the county. So you probably hit two of them last night on the way in. Yeah. <laughs> We have, I think, 260 miles of shoreline in the county. We are a 123-year-old bank, started in 1900, in this area called the Northern Neck, which is land between the Rappahannock and Potomac Rivers. We started here originally to serve watermen, which would primarily be uh, crabbers and oystermen. Uh, everybody knows everybody else down here, and uh, Jeff and his bank are just a perfect fit for this community. It's a real dichotomy. We have a lot of retirees, and then we have a lot of working class. Servicing both of those needs is uh, stretches us, but I think that's sort of what we do. We're largely a small business lender, have always been. It's about 75% of our portfolio. We service that small business lending, lending niche well, because we're responsive and we're relationship oriented. We also have two specialty lines of business that are nationwide. One of them is a receivable finance and division, and the other one is merchant processing. We are a principal member of Visa MasterCard. They integrate with the bank, but they, they also run largely separately. They've been huge for us. We feel like we serve those spaces in a community bank way. What makes a community bank different and what makes Chesapeake Bank different is that the person that you're talking to is the experience that you're going to get. We have a lot of technology. All of our technology drives our customers to people. When you call us, there's actually a person that answers the phone. We don't have a better loan than anybody. We don't have a better checking account than anybody. It, it all derives from our people and how the people interact with the public. We, we feel, one, privileged to be the only bank headquartered here, but we also feel we're a bigger cog in the economic engine of, of helping this local community. W. Allery Kellum Incorporated, we're a uh, fourth generation family oyster processing firm. My grandfather started the, the business in 1948. He took the proceeds from scrap iron that he collected and a $500 line of credit from Chesapeake Bank and started the business with my grandmother. And in 1995, um, my dad made a decision at that point. He had had enough. My dad's twin brother did not want to. He wanted to continue the business and uh, he actually approached my brother and I come in as owners. They were in a tough position and, and we stepped in and stuck with them. And you know now they're a very important customer of ours, hugely profitable business, but it was not without some pain on the front end. I mean, I truly believe that our business is an example that without a community bank, we wouldn't be here. We truly feel that we can't be a strong community bank without a strong community, and it's totally symbiotic. So we need to make sure we have a strong community uh, to live in. So as a result, we're very philanthropic. You can't speak about community service in this community without talking about Chesapeake Bank. And here's what I mean by that. If you take every service project going on, you'll not only find their dollars, but you're gonna find their people. We strive to have employees who want to do that sort of stuff. The bottom line wasn't how big of a loan were you requesting or how much financial need did you have to have. It was what's the byproduct? Who's it gonna help? How many is it going to help, and what's the difference going to be because of that? Now that's a business plan I can get behind. They say that all politics are local, and that's probably the case. But I would certainly offer that all banking is local. Everybody needs a local banker. We're not just selling widgets. We're selling things that make a big difference in people's lives, whether they're consumers or they're small businesses.